you have a pre-retina MacBook Pro lying around like this early 2011 right here, chances are it's running pretty slow. And this is due mostly to the mechanical hard drive inside of it. The moving parts and the older technology just sort of make everything on the entire computer run a lot slower. So to speed it up, you're gonna wanna put an SSD or solid state drive in it. These are going to be a lot faster, but they're also going to be a lot more expensive. So what if you could combine an SSD with a traditional hard drive to get the best of both worlds? With the Unibody Pre-Retina MacBook Pros, you can actually remove the CD drive and replace it with a second hard drive, so you can combine the speed of an SSD with the greater storage for a lesser price offered by traditional hard drives. So once you've put the second drive in, the only question left is, how do you manage it? Because now you have two separate drives in the computer that you'll need to deal with. Well, luckily, Apple has a technology called Fusion Drive that combines the two physical drives into one virtual drive. And macOS will automatically handle moving files from the SSD, these are the system boot files and the files that you use the most often, to the files that you don't use very often, which will go onto the hard drive. So this computer has a 500 gig hard drive, the original hard drive that came with the computer. And I basically took that out. I stuck in a 120 gig SSD that I bought for 50 or 60 bucks. And then I took the hard drive and I put it into a hard drive caddy and I put it in where the CD drive used to be. So I now have a 120 gig SSD plugged into the computer uh, inside and a 500 gig uh, hard drive plugged in where the CD drive used to be total of 620 gigabytes of storage. Okay, so in order to do this, you're going to need to boot the computer into recovery mode. If you have macOS installed on one of the drives that's in the computer, uh, then you'll be able to just boot with normal recovery. Otherwise, you'll wanna use internet recovery. I'm going to boot holding Command R. This will boot into the recovery partition that is currently uh, stored in this computer. Okay, so once we're booted into recovery mode, we're gonna wanna first check out disk utility to see what we're working with. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do in disk utility is go up to view and choose show all devices instead of show only volumes. So this option down here is the recovery mode uh, boot. We don't care about that, but up here in the internal section, you'll notice that we do indeed have two drives um, which is what we want. We have the SSD and the HDD. And we can look and see we have the Kingston uh, 120 gig um, SSD right here. And we have the Samsung 500 gig HDD. So they're both showing up correctly. So each of these drives is gonna wanna have one partition on it. And the easiest way to do that is to click on the drive itself, not any of the partitions, but the actual drive itself. You click erase and the format should be Mac OS extended journal doesn't make a huge difference, but we'll leave it there. And you want the GUID of the partition map. And for name, I'm going to name the SSD one SSD and the HDD one HDD so that I can remember when I go to create the fusion drive, which is which. So you can use erase to get rid of any data and any partitions uh, just to make everything nice and simple. Uh, when you're making the fusion drive, you will have to erase all the data on all of the drives. So if you don't do it in disk utility, it's going to happen later on. Now, once you have everything set up, you have one partition for each drive that takes up the entire um, contents of that drive. You'll notice that disk utility doesn't actually allow you to create a fusion drive. It's just not a feature that's offered uh, within the application. So we're going to have to use terminal in order to accomplish this. So I'm going to quit out of disk utility. I'm going to go to utilities and then terminal and I'm going to open up Terminal right here. Now, if, you, if you've used Terminal in Mac OS or if you've used Linux before, you should be pretty familiar with this, but if not, uh, you don't have to worry. The links will, the uh, commands will be down in the description and uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, pausing the video and copying stuff down. It'll be nice and simple. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna list all of the drives that are inside of the computer so we can figure out what they're called when we're actually creating the Fusion Drive. So you're going to type disk util list and you're gonna get a long list of items. Now all of these options that say disk image next to them, these are virtual drives that are used for the various components of the recovery system, but we don't care about those. We care about these top two uh, any drives that say internal and physical, like so. 
We have two internal physical drives, which again makes sense, one being the SSD and one being the HDD. And now we need to figure out where exactly um, we are going to create this fusion drive. So if we look, we see dev disk zero has a total size of 500 gigabytes. That tells us um, that this is in fact the HDD. And we can see here uh, that the number two is this drive named HDD that takes up pretty much all of the space. The other space is given to EFI for booting and recovery HD for the recovery partition. Uh, but the HDD takes up almost the entire space. And so that is the HDD partition on the hard drive. If we look at dev disk one, we'll see that the total size is 120 gigs. So we know this is our SSD. And we can also see that this contains uh, the partition called SSD that takes up pretty much the entire size with a little bit going to the EFI partition, which is used again for booting. So basically what we wanna do is we wanna combine the HDD partition on dev disk zero with the SSD partition on dev disk one. And we're going to use these two partitions to create one virtual partition that has the data from both of them. So to the computer, again, it'll look like there's just one uh, drive, but there will actually be two. Okay, now that we know what we're dealing with, we need to actually create a logical volume group. Again, that's just a virtual um, uh, collection of multiple drives that can be treated as if it were a single drive. So to do this, we're going to type disk util core storage create. Then we're going to type in order the drives that we wanna use. I want to use the SSD as the primary drive to store the boot data and the most used files because I want the most speed there. And the HDD will be used for the extra data. So the stuff that I don't use as often um, that I don't necessarily care about being super fast to access. So I'm first going to be looking at dev disk one because I know that's the SSD. And the partition that I'm targeting is number two in this list. So basically what you do is you take this disk, so dev disk one, and then you write the letter S, and then you write the number that it is, so two. So the first thing is going to be dev disk one S2, as in it's disk one, and the partition is number two on this list. And then I want to use this partition, partition number two on dev disk zero. So it's going to be dev disk zero S2. So I'm going to be using this SSD partition and this HDD partition together to create this logical volume group. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to mention is that before you put the list of drives, you need to put the name of your logical volume group. I'm going to call it Fusion Drive with a capital F and a capital D. You can call it whatever you want and the name really doesn't matter. But if you go back later and you want to delete the Fusion Drive and do it again or whatever, you're gonna wanna remember that name. So Fusion Drive is a nice and simple name. So I'm gonna hit enter. And what you'll see is it's going to unmount the two partitions that we wanted it to use. It's going to create the logical volume group and it's going to erase both of those partitions. So they're going to be empty. And now it's done, you'll see that it discovered a new logical volume group. So it created it, mounted it, and all of that's good. And we could go back to disk utility and take a look at it, but it's not quite done yet because uh, it's all empty space. We need to actually create our partition. Okay, so now we're going to create a partition for our logical volume group. So to do this, you're going to write disk util core storage create volume then you're going to type the name of the Fusion Drive that you created, or the name of the logical volume group. Mine is Fusion Drive with a capital F and a capital D. Yours might be different. Then you're going to enter the type of drive you want. For us, we want JHFS Plus. That means uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled. Um, that's just the default um, partition scheme that you're gonna wanna use here. Then you're going to put the name of the drive. We're gonna call it Macintosh HD because that's what Apple calls it. Make sure that since it's two words that you put it in quotation marks, double quotes. So I wrote Macintosh HD in double quotes. And then finally, the size of the partition, we're going to just write 100% to use up all of the storage. 
And so now it's going to create our logical volume and you can see that it just finished doing that. Okay, so at this point, we're actually done. We have our fusion drive. So we're going to quit out of terminal and let's take a look at what disk utility says now. So you can see we now have, instead of those two separate drives, we have fusion drive right here. And you can see it's 618.94 gigabytes. This is almost 620 gigs, which is what we expect. Again, the extra little space is used for booting and recovery and all of that stuff. But this is clearly using the space from both drives. And you can see that 100% of the space has been allotted to this drive, uh, this partition called Macintosh HD, 613 gigs, which is exactly what we will expect from here. So instead of seeing two different partitions on two different drives, we now just see one drive that has one partition on it, nice and simple. But of course, this partition is going to be empty because we just created it. So at this point, you're going to want to reinstall Mac OS. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and agree to this, agree. And what you'll see now is we have as our option Macintosh HD, and you can see that it has 613 gigs. So that's clearly more than any one drive in this computer. So we can clearly tell that our process did indeed work. So that's it, we've done it. We've created a Fusion Drive using the exact same method that Apple uses to create Fusion Drives in the iMac. It's the exact same for all intents and purposes and it works in the same way. And when you open up Finder, you'll only see one Macintosh HD partition, but Mac OS will be magically moving files between the SSD and the HDD so that all of your most used files and applications are on the fast SSD and all of your lesser used files are on the HDD where there's plenty of room for them. So that's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook Messenger, and please send me money and free computers so that I can sell them on eBay and make more YouTube videos about selling computers on eBay. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, all right. Settle down. Thanks, guys. I'm Luke Miani. <laughs>